Ready? I want to start by talking to you. Um, a little period of reflection, just for a second now. Um, what a season it's been. Your sort of thoughts on how and why it's been such a success? Uh, that is, it's a combination of many aspects, but I think, you know, um, overall, it's the will and the desire the boys that showed and, and the hard work that uh, we put our staff and players, you know, to get, get, the, get to this level. Uh, it wasn't an easy season for, for us, uh, but we, uh, we, um, we worked really hard towards our objectives individually and collectively, and you can see the, the result is there. Um, uh, the, the, the link between the players um, it was, it was amazing and huge. They, they all looked after each other. And uh, of course, the, when, when we approached the game, it's more about hard work and uh, obviously winning and getting the results. Um, and Paul, you're obviously first experience of Southampton, the, the football club and under-23s football. Um, have you enjoyed the season so far? That's an understatement, yeah. Absolutely delighted. I mean, <coughs> I've not assisted for a number of years, but it was something I gave a lot of thought to before joining the club and it's big for Raddy, somebody doesn't know coming in. So, uh, yeah, I assisted a number of years ago with two managers in Alex Inglethorpe and Paul Tisdale and gone along the same lines and we've got on very, very well and raddy has been great. He's given me a lot of things to do. He's delegated a lot, both on and off the field and I feel like we've worked as a team and it's been very re rewarding to see the players go across to the first team on a regular basis and see the high level of work that Raddy does with, with the players. Rad, let's focus on Wednesday night now. Obviously a huge game under the lights at St Mary's. Um, for young players especially, um, these have got to be the kind of games that you crave, right? The ones that you look forward to the most? Yeah, mainly it's, it's a really good um, a situation for, for the boys to experience um, toward their development, uh, which is the main objective. But also uh, it's the reward of what we've been t chatting about the the, the 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 hard work and the uh, the sacrifice that the boys that put. Uh, now we put ourselves in, in this situation semi-final international cup, which is really good opportunity for them to express themselves and confirming what they've been doing for 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 a season now and for years for some of them. Um, they just need to uh, enjoy it. That's the main thing. I think in this age, it's mainly about express themselves and enjoy and show what they uh, they're able to do. Especially the game is going to be in St Mary, so the nice environment, really good, exciting situation for them to uh, to take it on board. Mm -hmm. um, and Paul, is that the same as a coach? The bigger occasions are often end up becoming the most memorable. Yeah, absolutely. I think it doesn't matter what level you're at. If you get to a semi-final, and the the, the teams that we've beaten to get there, no more than Villarreal in the last round. We deserve to be there, the players deserve to be there. And what we want is them to go and do what we see every day on the training field, what we've seen of late in the Premier League too, and also the, the cup run itself, because the Villarreal game posed so many difficult problems for the, the lads, and they, they really did come through that with flying colours, you know, to score two goals and keep a, uh, sorry, just allow the one goal was, was excellent. So. Um, it's ex going to be exciting and as Red says, they get a chance to go to St Mary's and show everyone, including the first team manager, what, what they can do. Mm. Um, we're hoping for a big crowd. Um, what a boost for these young lads to be supported by the club's fans, but also local people and local communities of, of Southampton? Yeah, I always ask to uh, try to replicate a little bit what the first team players experience on a weekly basis on Saturdays in St Mary's, so 30 to 35,000 there cheering up the players. I think, you know, from players' perspective and players' development, even in the training ground, I think we need to open the doors for the locals, for the, for the families and ultimately for the fans who are getting bigger and better now for the 23s who follows uh, through social media or through, you know, the, uh, the streaming, the YouTube streaming. Uh, which is really good and beneficial because you know that um, if it's a if it's a hard situation that put them under pressure, and if it's an enjoyable situation, they they enjoy it more with with the fans and with the close people and uh, the local. Uh, basically, they see what what coming from the academy and they see what how they are improving and they can assist them through the years and the and the months. You know how how they improved. So it, it's really important for for me for us as a staff to, to, 
to try to replicate as maximum as possible the first team environment for the boys to, to get the taste because there's only one step for them to go to the first team. And you see this year we had uh, eight players who's been training with the first team continuously. I think five who made the debut. And then um, um, especially for people like Jan Valerie going to the first team feel, feel comfortable. It's really important for us. Mm. He's a, a fantastic example of, of what this club's all about, Jan and, and the four others who have made their debut this year. Um, and as we've discussed, the lads have already achieved a, a, a huge amount this year, much that we've just talked about just there, sort of surpassed expectations, I know you've said, on, on some levels. Um, how rewarding would it be to round off the season by getting through this semi-final and then having the reward of, of playing a final at the end of it? I think it would be the, 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 the cherry on the top at the end. I think uh, we, we had some of the boys that had their reward been around the first team and um, some, some of them obviously had their reward been improving. But I think as a team, uh, in any environment, as a team to, 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 hit, to win a silverware, it's, it's really important you know, to, to show a proof, especially in the future when you grow up and you refer back and we'll go back to the memory of the International Cup. I know it's a bit too early for me. I, I hate speaking about it because I didn't play the game yet. And then, um, and then obviously we're not in the final yet, but we need to go through Dynamo Zagreb, which is a, a good opportunity, like I said. But having, you know, a, a memory back in your uh, in the office or whatever, in the lounge, you know, reminds you of this moment. It's really important because, you know, at the end of the day, only the winner will be mentioned in the, in the, in the history and then people don't remember the second one or the third one. Mm. Paul, is that the same for mm. you? Sort of echo the same sentiment? Yeah, I think the distractions that, that this game will bring, you know, it's not a normal game for the players, is good for their development. I think it's great for their development because they'll want to do well. But the only way, in my professional opinion, I'm sure Rad will say the same thing, that they will do well is if they play their game. So they have to focus on the game and themselves and their teammates and what they've been doing all season. Nothing outside just that which is what the top players do every week so we try to replicate what the first team do what the first team manager asks um, but we can't always replicate in this way so this is a perfect opportunity for the players the coaches everybody involved to go and show again how good we are um, Rad you've played in plenty of games of huge significance in your time both for club and country what are the key things to focus on? I guess holding your nerve and not being intimidated by the occasion, like we've just spoken about, is, is one of the main things. Yeah, you individually need to focus on your own performance. So do the basics right. Um, as soon as you enter the, the game and as soon as you progress through the game, as soon as you get more confidence and, and then perform comfortably. Uh, as a team, is the same thing. You need to stick to the plan, make sure you keep the discipline and uh, help and support your teammate. It's really important, especially in the, in the environment where there is a little bit of pressure uh, and um, against good teams. So it's, it's simple for me. So keep the discipline, make sure you, you, you stick to the basics. Paul, do those old cliches still apply where if you're a midfielder, it's about your first touch or your first pass? If you're a defender, it's about getting up and winning your first header. <laughs> do those things uh, still exist in today's game? Uh, a long time ago for me, first touch in midfield. But um, I know what you mean. Yeah, absolutely. The basics. Doing the basics brilliant. Um, the one thing I've noticed about the club, about the, the team, really the coaches, is that they're always pushed to do it right in training. I think that's a huge part. We train with intensity. Um, every day we're thinking about the game, not, not training. So I'm a great believer in that. And I think that will serve the players well on Wednesday night, that they'll go into that um, on the back of the way they train. It's really important. Um, and just lastly, Rad, you're always very reserved on the, on the sidelines. Your style is very calm and collected and, and relaxed. If they do manage to win a Wednesday, are we going to get to see a bit of a celebration on the sidelines? I won't change. It's only a semi-final, uh -huh. uh, Laura. I think, uh, again, you know, I'll, I would be demanding from the boys. I would be pushing the boys, supporting the boys in everything that they need. But as I said, you know, it's really important that we um, we do the hard work together. Like Paul mentioned, also the training sessions are really demanding and, and hard. And we want to train more than it's in the game. But uh, we know that if we train hard in the training sessions, and, and the game would be easier for us. And uh, hopefully, 
we're going to make it easier for ourselves and then uh, we go through. When we go through, we celebrate it together for that moment, but we have another game in the Premier League after that to think about. So I won't have time till <laughs> the season finish um, in the International Cup and in the Premier League and hopefully we can get ourselves to the best we can do.